Howdy everybody, today we are testing uh, various uh, audio setups with my uh, camera to see if we can do anything about uh, improving the quality of audio because people have been complaining and I've been getting some uh, well I've been experiencing some issues uh, myself and recently uh, you know the sound started sounding muffled so right now we are recording this is 1080p mp4 because this camera has a choice of uh, uh, you know what is it AVCHD and mp4 so when you record in the mp4 you have much less much fewer options as far as audio is concerned and so this is mp4 and everything is on uh, auto uh, scene select auto from for the mic and uh, mic sensitivity is an auto and now we are recording with um, uh, without without the automatic uh, on mic level now I chose the uh, like the highest gain and I selected like gain gain control what is called automatic gain a uh, AGC or something so but I'm a pretty you know quiet environment so I don't know it sounded pretty good the first time but now basically we have uh, this ADC on so that's how it sounds the same 1080p and mp4 and this time this is AVCHD 1080p at 60 frames per second and here I have a choice of 5 and 1 like surround sound but I chose 2 channel uh, and also this one gives you more choices for for audio uh, I chose zoom mic like you can choose from surround mic zoom mic and focus mic so I think zoom mic is better when you use a zoom on your on your camera so it focuses on the on the audio coming from the same source and now we are back to mp4 1080p everything is on auto and this time we're gonna try this uh, lavalier mic I picked up on Amazon for about uh, 30 bucks. They all pretty much look the same. You see there's a little uh, unit there where you put the battery and a small windscreen and a small lav mic or lapel mic that you put on your shirt. So there's Amazon. I got it from Amazon Canada so it's probably cheaper in the Amazon on Amazon.com uh, US and came in a big envelope but I find the packages are pretty much the same I already tried two different ones so this one looks yeah audio technica I tried that one uh, the package looked pretty much the same something over there and I lost some important part uh, sell throw away do not eat okay so if you do not eat why do you put it in there okay things keep falling out here but yeah so the same thing you got the actual clip the battery that adapter here and uh, that's the actual mic so let, let me just hook up the battery and then we'll try to sound with this uh, Vid Pro Lavalier mic, and of course, one advice I can give to to uh, beginning cinema cinema cinematographers is that when I look for a professional mic, always choose something that says professional on the box because this will guarantee uh, better results. I think. Well, and now we are recording with the <laughs> level ear mic attached, or rather, we can call it hard hat mic. I don't know why people call it level ear, but actually, I don't like this wire here in front of me. So maybe I should. Okay, the cable, the camera is steady. I don't know. Now I have very limited experience with this 
one two three four testing testing one two three four with pro professional level ear condenser microphone and I think they're using the same woman that I had on the cheap uh, Chinese mic that I tried before and it didn't work but let's use it the way it should be like I've seen you know everybody's on TV they're using these mics probably somewhere like this like in my uh, safety vest okay and that's what we have so hopefully I put in the oh sorry about that hopefully I put in a very dangerous environment here so hopefully I put in my um, battery uh, properly this time but I was following the symbols on that black unit where it showed plus is this way and then the, the battery is marked one side is only marked plus so I don't know you know you have to be a total uh, non-truck driver to mix that up plus and minus hey we deal with batteries all the time right and this is the same 1080p mp4 everything is on uh, on uh, full auto but of course the true test of any mic is outside and today it's windy so it'll be interesting to see how how this thing uh, copes with the real life conditions because I know that my built-in mic would be pretty much useless well I'm outside it's windy and I'm still talking and I'm walking with my camera I hope it sounds okay because after this we're gonna do a video about the load I have and I can promise you guys that it's one unusual load so that was my test of the new external mic and uh, basically looking again at the uh, opportunities that I already had in my Panasonic but maybe that I did not use but I think things are much better when I use this uh, external mic and I'm pretty glad that my camera supports uh, external microphones. So thanks for watching, stay tuned.